The sentence is, they went to the grocery store on the corner next to the bank. So we're talking about the location of where this grocery store is. They went to the grocery store. It's the one that's on the corner next to the bank, okay? So we have to kind of organize the way that we say things. Otherwise, sometimes can, things can get a little confusing, okay? So, so when I, what I want you guys to pay attention to is how I am organizing my speech. So they went to the grocery store on the corner next to the bank. You can hear where I'm kind of pausing. They went to the grocery store on the corner next to the bank. Okay, so there's kind of these groups of words or phrases that kind of naturally go together. And what happens is if I don't say those things with small pauses or space in between them, sometimes things can get confusing or kind of run together and then the information is kind of um, unidentifiable and we'll look at some examples here. So what I want you, so what is great about this is first of all, you learn how to speak in English and where to pause and take a breath. And I think this activity, this particular lesson or strategy or skill is so important because so many people think that speaking English fast or quickly is how you sound fluent, but actually slowing down is perfectly fine. And nobody is going to say to you, God, that person sounds so slow. People aren't going to say that. They're not even going to notice it. You know, you notice if I never notice if a person speaks slowly, you know, um, I can tell when somebody speaks fast and what happens in my body when somebody speaks fast is I get nervous, right? But when we're speaking English, if it's not our first language, we really need to slow down, learn how to chunk or group these sentences or these phrases so that it sounds good and that you have some space to breathe, take a breath here or take a breath here, okay? And so then, it, then you kind of, when you're taking more breaths in your speech, what's going to happen? You're going to feel more calm. You'll have more time to say the right words and choose the right tenses and all of that. So it's just going to come and it's going to feel a lot more natural to you. Okay. So they went to this grocery store on the corner next to the bank. Okay. So we kind of put it in these natural pauses. Okay. Um, that kind of makes sense also with the sentence. So um, native English speakers, okay, so let's do that here. Native English speakers naturally organize their speech into thought groups, okay? And things like this can kind of move around. It's not a real hard, you know, uh, hard rule about where to organize things. Just, you know, you wouldn't say native English speakers naturally. You know, you wouldn't do that because this is all one. This is your subject, right? This is one subject. It's a big one. Native English speakers, okay, naturally organize their speech into thought groups. Native English speech speakers naturally organize their speech into thought groups, okay? And then within those phrases, you can kind of hear where the stress goes. So this is all kind of leading you guys to, to this like place of knowing where to put stress, knowing where your voice should go up or kind of go down, where you're reducing, where you're putting pauses in your breath or in your speaking, where you're breathing. And then again, once those things all kind of come together, we get this kind of sense of calm in our bodies, which is the key. This is everything I want for you guys. Just have this like strength and confidence and powerful speech. You know, when you're speaking, you want to feel strong and you want to feel confident. And that's what these things I think, especially this idea with working with thought groups. Okay. That's what can happen. Okay. Um, here's, I love these examples here and I just wanted to share a couple